so lonely If you're leaving, baby, let me down slowly Find a way to let me down slowly A little sympathy, I hope you can show me If you wanna go, then I'll be so lonely If you're leaving, baby, let me down slowly aspect of Earth that you were never too excited about was the night sky. I told you about it one day. I asked why we had skipped over the star section of the books we would read. You chuckled, but thinking of it now makes me believe you were bitter. Shadow, I've been on this colony for all my life. I've seen all the stars I could ever want to see. And the moon in all of its close-up glory. I could care less about those same sights on Earth. And I understood that. Yet, I can't help but feel a little bit smarter than you. For once, you said it was the same. It is not the same. The stars may look like specks from up in space as well. But on Earth, they create their own pictures. This is the Big Dipper. It is a constellation. It looks like a pot. Those three stars are the handle, and the four make up the pot itself. There are constellations everywhere on Earth. It can be hard to see the patterns if you haven't attempted to connect the dots. It can be whatever you want, but the stars are just one aspect. The moon is quite different when viewed from here too. 
It's farther away. There are less details that we can see, but it shines so brightly. We never saw the moon glow as bright as this. The Earth has given both the stars and the moon a home to express themselves. Different from what you expected in space, huh? There's animals in the night as well. They greet the moon and stars all so familiar to them during these dark hours. The crickets, the owls, all of them. It's truly wonderful. But these sounds are nothing compared to the night's rhythm itself. It's something that needs to be heard on its own. When I spent my first night on Earth, and truly, truly began to appreciate the night, I heard it. The low hum of the night that echoed throughout. It was... it was incredible. Never have I felt more comforted by the sound of, well, nothingness. And I hear it now. It's nothing like what we heard together. We heard the beeping of machines next to you. The steps of people against the corridors. The quietness in the void that was space itself. But we never heard the night. And... I wish you were able to hear it. Every time I'm out here, every time I appreciate the night, I can't help but think of what I'd tell you if you were here to see it with me. I can't help but feel angry at the fact you'll never get to appreciate the night with me. I can't help but wish you were by my side, that you would be here, and I'd show you how it's better. It's so much better than what you expected. It's everything and more. I wish that you could have seen the Earth with me. But I know you'll never be able to. And I've accepted it. It's okay now. Because I've kept all our promises. All the way up to our last one. And I can say nothing. But thank you, Maria. Thank you for showing me a world of happiness that I wouldn't ever have known before.